What's going on guys, Jeff here for Premium Aquatics and today we got a new box to open up. So let's open up and take a look at what we got. So we got Joe's Juice. If you aren't familiar with what Joe's Juice is, it's an Aptasia solution uh, for removing Aptasia from your reef tank. It's always important to make sure you give uh, the product a good read before use. And there is some warnings on here. It says make sure that you use uh, eye protection, protective gloves, all that stuff uh, to make sure that you do not have any of this stuff enter your eyes. Uh, some information about Joe's Juice. Uh, they've been around for a long, long time, since 2003. So. Um, for a product to be around that long, it obviously has to work pretty well. And this is a very informative website. Uh, it's joesjuice.info, and we'll take a look at that before we jump in and start using this product. So we'll take a look at that, and then we'll uh, open up a box and see what you have inside, and then go down to the tub of fun and use this on some Aptasia and see how well it works. All right, so I'm over at joesjuice.info, and a lot of the information here is also on the box, but it kind of dives into it in a little bit more detail. There's also some pretty helpful videos over here that are gonna help you learn how to use this product. Some really good testimonials, a lot of pictures, product reviews, some really good information over at joesjuice.info. If you wanna check that out, there's gonna be a link in the description below. All right, so let's open it up and take a look. Oh. All right, everything came out in one shot. Uh, so you have the product itself, which is calcium hydroxide, very liquidy. Uh, and then you have a three-part syringe with tip applicator. Uh, so not a whole lot to opening that up. As far as the instructions for this product, you have it right here on the side. Um, and it gives you a pretty good indication as to how to use this product and be successful with removing Aptasia from your tank. And then there's a whole lot of different uh, warnings here. And again, um, the information that is over at joesjuice.info, pretty helpful in using this product properly and safely. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and shake this up real well as per the instructions. It says uh, that you need about three to five drops of reverse osmosis water to dilute the water and mix sure a little bit. And it's also important to make sure that you shut off your power heads in your aquarium prior to use just so it's not getting blown all over the place and you have like a nice calm environment to work in. So uh, we got that mixed up pretty well. Seems like it has been mixed up pretty well anyways. We're gonna go get a little bit of reverse osmosis water. So we're gonna go ahead and get a little bit of water in the syringe, reverse osmosis water, and then take our Joe's juice down to the tub of fun and find some Aptasia to eradicate. So that should be enough. Let's head down to the tank. All right, so we got our Joe's juice. We've cut the power to the tank, and I don't know if you guys can see or not, but we got a couple guys that have set up shop here in this dark little spot. Um, there was a pile of them on the top of this rock right here, um, but they, I was kind of messing around, so they all split on me. Um, so what we're gonna do is try to get this hard to reach guy Right here, we're going to hit him with the uh, Joe's Juice and see how he fares. And then we'll check back in on him tomorrow and see how well this stuff works. That kind of came out pretty hardcore, a little faster than I wanted it to. Um, on the top of this rock here, there's a pile of them. Um, you'll just have to take my word on it. Go ahead and apply some more there all over the top of this rock because there is a huge, huge colony. Now, you definitely can be a lot more controlled uh, than I have been in this circumstance. I think it's just kind of an itchy trigger finger, really. Um, 
but hopefully you know the results are the same you know none of the other life in the tank is really impacted I got a couple of uh, two worms here off to the side not acting or reacting in a negative way at all so they don't seem to be affected by it whatsoever so we'll let this sit up for the night and we'll come back tomorrow and check up on them all right guys it's the next day and as you can see here uh, the Aptasia got taken care of pretty well with uh, Joe's juice um, shut off the power heads just so I could show you a still shot there's absolutely no Aptasia kicking around here so uh, good job on the Aptasia removal for Joe's juice uh, definitely a solid product if you guys want to take a look at Joe's juice if you're dealing with Aptasia and would like to get rid of them in your tank check it out pretty solid product